Hey Libra, I'm gonna do a little sound bowl. They fucking with people's sleep patterns. It just make you feel like you gotta go to sleep. You know, like, awesome, go to sleep. Like, bitch, if I ain't ready to go to sleep, quit fucking with my body, bitch. Spirit says some of them be up all night like this. Make you sleepy because they paying more attention to your life than you is. Like, God damn, bitch. You want to apply? <laughs> you want to apply to be the head of my life like your God or me? Weird, bitch. I fuck this fucked up, Libra. I'm trying to tell you. Guard your grill, honey. Let me see your grill. Yeah, yeah, your grill. Let me light the incense and we're going to get into this with tarot. Motherfuckers been fucked up been fucked up. They just been operating in such a way where people don't pay attention to these motherfuckers. You just let them in your world and they destroy your fucking life. Right up under your fucking nose. Some of these motherfuckers y'all don't even know. Of course it's connected to a man or a woman. Somebody that once had you don't want to let go. She wanted to fantasize about what would never be. That'll fuck with your sleep pattern. Motherfuckers masturbating to your picture. That'll fuck with your sleep pattern. Motherfuckers up just looking at your platform and your pictures. That'll fuck with your sleep pattern. These motherfuckers, you don't want to be doing it, okay? Sit up watching your goddamn videos all night. If you don't show your face, then they just get off on your voice kind of shit. Paranoid that you're gonna tell the truth about their motherfucking ass. These motherfuckers is weird, bro. I ain't lying to you. I'm as normal as normal gets. I know that. Bitch ain't got to tell me, and I don't need a head doctor to fucking examine my head. I'd be more normal than they motherfucking ass. This is crazy. Soon as you wake up, you sleepy. You going to sleep early. Then you can't even get all the way up. Drink coffee, be ready to start the day. Next thing you know, a wave of fucking sleep just hit your ass out of nowhere. That's them. That ain't you. That ain't your food. That ain't your workout. That ain't nothing. That's they motherfucking ass. For real. This shit, your name in they mouth. Why you can't sleep? Because your name in people's mouth. And you ain't even at the party. Motherfuckers don't know how to shut the fuck up. Especially these motherfuckers in the South. Big black ants just keep showing up. My mother just showing me this shit. These nasty ass hoes. Why don't you get an exterminator, bitch? Big black ants. That ain't shit but down South. 
a lot told me they come through creepy crawly things they really do you see nets mosquitoes and shit it ain't warranted just pop up out of nowhere like this big black ant just come popping up out of nowhere on my fucking table motherfuckers down south man go get your life bitch if you don't have one find one bitch it's plenty of space and opportunity in the smallest town bitch who told you you know for real who told you The other one was the hangman, y'all. Tower. I gotta find my other esoteric dice because they love getting rid of shit that tell y'all, you know, what's affecting you, how to use um, certain shit in order not to be affected. They just like to play games like that. Just a weird bunch. We'll see who y'all biggest enemy is, though, on the zodiac side. Virgo. Is it any more? Capricorn. Scorpio. Mine was Pisces this morning. Give me a minute, Libra. Don't stop, baby. Weird, weird, demonic ass motherfucker. Man, you motherfuckers just weird, bro. I wouldn't cap to you. Weird as a motherfucker, man. I wouldn't want to be bothered. Tell you the truth. Karma complete judgment. Five of Wands, conflict, your enemies competing for a human's attention. Strife, determined enemies, witches, agitation, playing games, competing for careers and growth. If your brand or whatever idea you came up with ain't taking off, it's them trying to toy with your self-worth. I have so many people blocking me at all times. If I really depended on people patronizing me in order to have my value, honey baby, I would never heal. I would think I'm, honey, the worst person. I'm so dud. Nobody fucks with me. If you need people's validation, honey, you would be fucked up because these motherfuckers make it a point to block any source of income or anybody that will patronize you, they'll fuck with your collective so they won't. And don't say what they want to do, because they will. Don't underestimate no bitch or no nigga. Because they ain't shit. For real. Let's see what planet affecting y'all since my esoteric dice want to pop up. Venus. Y'all um, ruling planet, which is in uh, retrograde in Leo. So it's affecting y'all, I'm sure. Tower. Some of y'all thought something was over and it's still going on. But people gonna catch the tower with how they treating innocent ass people. For real. How they treat children. Fighting over children, bringing children in the shit that they ain't got nothing to do with. Bitch, you gonna pay. You pay for magic, bitch, you gonna pay karma too for the magic you paying for, bitch. Who the fuck right now is paying to hurt somebody? Anybody paying for magic right now? You should be paying for protection to get your chakras on point. You know what I'm saying? Bath detox to cleanse your aura. I mean, for real. Everything is energy cleanse or balancing or harmony or to protect yourself while you're healing from these nymphs. Other than that, paying magic to literally do something to somebody. Because you think they want your man, or they men want you, or they think that your woman, they woman want you, or whatever these weird motherfuckers think. Competing. I don't even understand how it's humanly possible to compete in anything spiritual. You are fucking nuts. 
Since when did spirituality become a competitor sport? Bitch, you out your mind. And that's just that on that. They fucking with y'all children. They really is. And they sit and watch. They will cause towers just from watching you all motherfucking day long. Like, damn, bitch. They watch some of y'all more than they watch fucking TV series. That's kind of crazy when that shit is made for that. Not for you to sit up and watch somebody's fucking life that you don't even like, dumbass bitch. Why don't you go somewhere? These motherfuckers is bots. They don't have no sense in their head. None. They just looking for somebody to be like. Somebody to compete with. Fucking with y'all kids. Fucking with y'all life. Fucking with y'all money. Fucking with y'all soul. Fucking with y'all mind. I'm trying to tell you, these hoes about to catch it, man. Loss, distress, funeral, regrets, grief, unexplainable, apathy, unhappy, alliances, ancestors, news force coming, desolate, possible spell work. Yeah, because they pay for this shit. They don't be paying for no healing. You the normal motherfucker when you paying somebody to do some distant Reiki or to do some work to protect you. That's normal. Who the fuck calls somebody like, yeah, can you get rid of this bitch for me? She want my man. Bitch, what? King of Pentacles in reverse. Do not put faith in perversity, ugliness within, untrustworthy, overly cautious, petty, corrupt, weak, bully. I am finding that they're saying this about people. If y'all dating somebody or liking somebody... They're trying to put it out there like this person is all this and all that. When a person really is organized, courageous, wise, original, dominant, alpha male, intellectual, welcoming, active, uh, authoritative, divine in nature, creative, genius, and good with numbers. Some of y'all may be dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo. That's why Virgo came up. Because if y'all dealing with a Virgo, they're trying to trip y'all up to make y'all think that this person is a pervert. Stay away from them. They untrustworthy. Uh, they co they'll coerce you. They petty. They corrupt. They weak. They bitter. They be capping. They uncaring. They gamble excessively. They materialistic. Don't put your faith in them. Some of y'all really buying that shit. It's not even true. They be hurling shit. That's why it's coming up on the page of swords. Like y'all, they look for shit and then they put that shit out in the ether. You know what I'm saying? That the person ain't this and all that and it cause the relationship to go in some type of rift because a lot of these motherfuckers is getting out of um, fraud-ass marriages. That's why the Ten of Cups is coming up on the damn Five of Cups in reverse because it's just a, a bad situation. But these hoes stay trying to find a way to tell another woman that he may be interested in that he ain't shit and it don't even be the motherfucking truth you can be married and they doing this shit i'm trying to tell you let me help you to understand something if you getting along with the opposite sex whether you married or not you just meet somebody it doesn't matter if you getting along with that person and then all of a sudden a lot of uh differences start coming into play maybe arguing Maybe you saying you don't want to be bothered. You ain't got time for that. Blah, blah, blah. Out of nowhere. You need to just roll with that wave. Because it's them. It's foreign energy. It's foreign like a fucking virus. All of a sudden, it was just good. It was all good just a week ago. What happened? People, bitches, sit on these fucking platforms watching y'all. Spewing their darkness. Sitting up in these petty ass parties. Honey, listen. Tupac be reenacting these motherfuckers with their solo cups. Telling lies. Just imagine these three solo cups. That's what he say they be doing. They be all up in the mix at these little corny ass get togethers. Like, bitch, the ancestors is all in that bitch. Listening to you tell a bunch of motherfucking lies on people that ain't bothering you, just want out of something, want out of conflict, want out of competition, want out of witchcraft, dark witchcraft. You know what I'm saying? And they trying to make it where the person can't be with y'all. But that person is dissatisfied, disappointed, disappointed. They keep delaying plans, a hidden hand, creating chaos, 
all of a sudden. You lethargic. That's that shit, man. Lethargic is really what people been feeling where they say their sleep pattern is off. They go to sleep all of a sudden. A wave of sleepy like you a damn baby that's been playing all day in school. And you cool. I'm talking about around about 4 o'clock. You busted. Get up and steal. That's lethargy. That's these hoes. Delusion or regretful lack of faith. And they powerless. That's what fucks shit up. They're literally powerless, but it's just a, a bunch of them. Or a motherfucker just run their mouth like they crazy all day long. Like, bitch, why didn't you get into broadcasting, bitch? Instead of spellcasting, bitch. Maybe you could have got paid way better. And then they be regretful that they done set up. But it be too late by then. You done said too much and you done did too much. And some of them got who y'all, y'all or the person that y'all like, they got them in exile on some just stay out the way kind of shit. But they want them like that so they don't make no moves so they don't heal. That's some of y'all too. Can't get no motherfucking good sleep. And don't even know why. Because people are fucking with you. Ethereally. Sending bugs in your home. Doing all kind of weird ass shit. It's true. Libra, king of swords. That's what I'm telling you. Even if you marry, they will have you thinking your man doing something that he ain't doing. Especially if your man was a cheater and he stopped and he really stopped and he really done with that shit. And he got his motherfucking life and got his wife. And they was more than likely the reason why the motherfucker kept going out there. Because they will pull him into some shit, honey. Let me tell you. They fucking with people. They want to fuck with your mind. You got to have mind power with these hoes and know what belongs to you and know what doesn't. And yeah, if we got to get into some gangster shit, bitch, that's just what it is. Because you're not going to keep violating my person. That's what the fuck you're not going to do. When I don't give a fuck about you enough to keep on with talking about you, ha having parties together to talk about you. These is motherfuckers that don't got shit to do. Ain't never thought about going to India. Ain't never thought about traveling outside of their small ass confines. So anybody that has a broad mind that want a different life for themselves, they look at you like you think you this and that and you're not going nowhere. You're going to be there with them. In the fucking ten of swords faking like everything is fine when it ain't. And your whole goddamn life gone while these hoes sit up and keep playing the game. This fake ass ten of cups. And then when you got the real deal, they keep you in fucking odds with each other, second guessing each other. That's just what they do. If you starting something new, they definitely going to do that shit. Yeah, dark magic all day. Misusing science, tricky, cunning, manipulative, distasteful, and confident in a bullshit. That's that three of cups energy. Disgraceful, con artist, selfish desire, self-deceit, a muggle, meaning they don't have no magic without you, a scammer, treacherous, blackmail, ego, poor communicators. So they call themselves going in your emails, going in your phones, surveillance, and all this shit to blackmail you. Like, listen, bitch, do what you will. You doing it anyway. Why are you talking? Get busy doing, doer. Ain't got nothing exciting going on, but y'all, clearly. I'm trying to tell you, trying to make y'all look like them. That's why both of them came out. Really trying to make y'all be in the Ten of Swords, even if y'all ain't in the Ten of Swords. You know, that's just like trying to make you go to sleep when you're not fucking sleepy. I wouldn't eat nothing, man. We gonna keep running in and out of my motherfucking life playing the motherfucking game. Some of y'all was married too, or they fucking with y'all family, y'all marriage, trying to make y'all second guess each other. Some new, some new, harmonious, peaceful. Could be past life, but I don't know. However, it is whether y'all with them or not, or just got with them. 
They trying to fuck with y'all. Closure, failure, ruin. Trying to get y'all to say fuck it. Either divorce or not fuck with this person if you're divorcing them and you found somebody new trying to get you not to be with nobody new. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all here to these motherfuckers? But this will become your life. Constantly just, you know how long I've been fighting enemies? Because I have to. Especially if they smell value on you. You ain't got to have a lick of money. But baby, if you got a social security number and you got an idea, a bright one, they don't think they privy to it. Just because you was married to them or just because you was once in a relationship with them or just because you got children with them or just because, you know, you family or whatever these motherfuckers think or you was once a friend. I mean, the entitlement is kind of crazy. They see you as options. When you gone, they have none. So they just find a way to entrap you. You can't make no money. But they got all your ideas and they got you. But they don't got no money coming from you. And if you got any money coming, they trying to take that too. Or take it out of your bank account. Fuck with your cash. Yeah, do all kind of weird ass shit. This entitlement shit. I don't know where these hoes was born at. Where they come from. I think Earthcore, if you was to ask me. Literally hell beings. Derived from the fucking core of the earth. Where it has to be a certain temperature in order to keep the earth rotating on its axis. I think some of these whole spirits is derived from the fucking, fucking earth core. I just do. My good. I'm like, this is an earth core bitch right here. Bitch, you need to go back down where you're needed and you would do better, honey. In the fire, honey. Than up top causing all this motherfucking hell. This all they do. It's magic, honey. That's why they do. Create blocks. It's coming right up on the magic card. Create blocks. Fuck with your energy. Fuck with your fortune. Steal your inventions. Fake family. Lie about you having a child. The child don't be yours. You know what I'm saying? Always got to start again with these type of motherfuckers. Fucking with y'all balance. They dark workers. They're not light workers. They try to portray that they are. Some of y'all may have been helping them thinking that they was a light worker, but they ain't never been a light worker. They don't have what it takes. That's why their career can't take off. These are the type of bitches that like to get into competition in the spiritual arena. Bitch, spirituality ain't never, like, where is you getting this from? This ain't the Olympics, bitch. This isn't a competitor sport. This isn't who can see further than the next psychic, bitch. Who can do Reiki? Who can heal better? You sound crazy as fuck. And some of these motherfuckers is crazy. Oh, look. Now the Queen of Pentacles want to come up upright. They trying to block y'all. I'm trying to tell you. If you are um cusper... They're trying to block y'all new beginnings. I'm telling you. Treachery. Enemies. Wishing downfall. They have a lack of confidence, but they want to fuck with your confidence because people don't patronize you because they're blocking people from patronizing you. Because if you do anything healing or to protect yourself from these type of entities, of course they don't want you to patronize a person like me. Procrastination. I want you to procrastinate. Give up. Lack faith. Spell work, of course. You just stay at a three of wands. You ain't at a two. You just waiting for the fourth wand, which is this four of wands right here. Some of y'all may just be waiting on the mate or waiting, you know what I'm saying, to retire even so that you can settle down with your wife or your husband where it's not so much on the go. But that come up as your enemy. It didn't feel right. That's why I rolled two more times. It really didn't. Y'all may have a good Virgo and a dark Virgo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody in it for the money and somebody that knows how to produce, you know, how to manifest. Just got gifts and are harassed by these type of bitches all day long. It's just true. Like, God damn, get off me, bitch. I don't know you. And don't want to. Mm-mm. Would never kick it with you. Ever. They about to be facing some karma how they doing y'all life. The way they doing y'all life. 
The way they doing y'all life is so foul. They fucking with y'all children. If y'all children ain't in the home, they fucking with y'all children so bad. They fucking with y'all children so bad. And these motherfuckers gonna have to pay. I wouldn't give a fuck if it's on their deathbed. That they fucking choking on blood or spit or whatever. That they like to do to other people. And they don't think they should have to go through that kind of bitches. Obsessed with y'all gifts. What do you do with that? When nobody really to come to your aid outside of your ancestors and God himself because the government ain't going to do shit about it. They can't. There's too many of them. There's too many of them. I mean, roaches. Honey, baby, roaches, honey. Devil tied to illusions, weirdos, blind to their own bullshit, always suffering for something. Ain't nothing but a negative Nancy, Debbie Downer ass bitch, petty, small minded ass bitches, weak, spiritually blind, always in despair. Can you give me some money? You know what I'm saying? Free yourself from these motherfuckers. Paying the price for ignorance. Money is the root. All our money ain't good money. Stop getting caught up in motherfucking materialism for God burn your ass and your partner's ass. For real. He ain't going to need no devil. Get the fuck away from him. Think it's somebody and they be doing witchcraft for you to be all at all with them and they be, it be an illusion. It be a whole ass illusion. I'm telling you. Coming right up on the weirdos. Ain't nothing what it seen with these motherfuckers. A weird ass Norman Bates movie. I mean, stay on the dumb shit. Stay on the dumb shit. Here we go. They tell lies on fathers and men that are hard workers. They just tell lies. A lot of times, motherfucker be at work and they sitting there talking about you. You be at the casino. Any goddamn thing that they could pull out their fucking ass, pop off, run their mouth, act 18 to 24. It could be every bit of 42 kind of shit. Like it's unreal. For real. It really is. Some of y'all hip to these motherfuckers. Every element is coming out here. Yeah, they're going after lovers. Potential love. They do not want people to make union and they don't want people to last. They just don't. Even if you in a union, they don't want you together. They really don't. They don't want nothing working out for you. They really don't. Stop deluding yourself like these people, you know, have your best interest at heart when they fucking don't. For real. And they just keep on. They just keep on. Some of y'all need to speak on it and stop being patient. Because it's time up for that shit. That's how they get you. Patience is the devil. That's why temperance came up on the devil. I'm going to keep saying that. Now is the only time that matters. Now, 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 now. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Especially if you got a way of escape and you know what direction you're going in. And it's a force pushing you to go in that direction. This ain't no, you don't know what to do. Shit just stagnant, stuck, feel like you don't know which direction to take. That's when you sit still. But when it's something forcing your ass to move, move out on that shit. Because you're going to get right back in a two of pentacles situation because that's what the fuck they be putting you in. For real. You got to be quick on the draw when opportunities present themselves. Because if not, you're going to lose the opportunity and be stuck or fucked up. And they're going to, man, they're going to do you bad. I'm just trying to tell you. Found cheating, miscarriage, sorry. Prison, guilt, shame, hardship, ghosting, full of doubt, fear, be patient. That's that bullshit. Change is for the best, man. Ain't nobody got time for that. Motherfucker's dead now. Motherfucker's dead now. 
Ain't nobody got time for all of that. Failure, misery, lies. See, some people, they so full of shit. Anytime a person, this is the oldest fucking, every, who doesn't know this shit? Any old school player know this shit. If a motherfucker is accusing you of cheating and you know goddamn well you're not cheating, they're the ones cheating. It's the oldest fucking game in the book. They're really telling on themselves, but they're projecting and blaming. And then they try to find shit that you're doing that you're not even doing. Even if you got a man that was a cheater and he stopped, they will turn you into one if you're not careful. Their whole job is to dismantle you and to cause dysfunction and to cause rifts and for bonds not to be strengthened. They fucking you up in the beginning of your union. They fucking you up in the middle and they're going to fuck you up to the end. That's just what they do. It's just like Tupac said, his father gave him the advice on the song Blasphemy. Nigga, get off your ass if you proclaim to be rich. There's two rules. There's two rules to this game, and I share with you two. No, niggas gonna hate you for whatever you do. They're not happy for you. These people are out of their fucking mind, and you're making a choice and decision to be with somebody. They'll get envious of that because spell work wasn't used to trap. A person that they use spell work to trap. And they come up with new shit every day. Every day. Every way. For real. You gotta really watch motherfuckers, man. I'm trying to tell you. Hey, shit, bro. Hey, shit, man. If people feel intimidated by you, they horns gonna show. They just is. And they could be a spiritual motherfucker, but them horns don't show. That devil gonna come out. You can best believe that shit. Queen of Cups. It's a match made in heaven. Honestly, some of y'all dealing with a Scorpio energy. Y'all reflect each other. It's a match made in heaven. Been a match made in heaven, and y'all probably just been under attack. For you to second guess that person, you don't even understand why you second guess it. And they really could get you if you got Libra and a prominent placement in your chart, because y'all have difficulty deciding. What should, you, what should you do? What shouldn't you do? You know? And that's on Venus. I say Venus rhymes with penis because that's all these hoes care about. You know? It don't be about the love of the person. It be about the love of their sexual organs and what it can do for them. That's why she's looking up at this fucking wine trying to figure out how can she get it back inside of her kind of weird hoes. I'm just telling you. Y'all literally reflect this person. No trash. Easy like Sunday morning type of union. I mean... And they're coming, they're coming after it. They just are. Whether you married or whether you're not, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Coming after Empress energies. Yeah. Coming after high priest energies. That's one and the same to me. Because if you got to bear the spiritual weight of anything in your family or in your world, you're an empress on top. You ain't going to have a, a lick of motherfucking money. You resourceful. <laughs> just say Mother Earth. Maybe channel Mother Earth only for a reason. Because you're resourceful. It don't have nothing to do with your bank balance. And don't let nobody tell you any different, honey. Yeah, that's how they like to keep y'all. I'm about to cut these motherfuckers off. They ain't up to no good all the time. All the fucking time. Up to no good, Libra. I'm trying to tell you. Don't put your heart on your sleeve to these motherfuckers. You better watch these motherfuckers. Because they real tricky. I'm telling you, watch their body language. Watch how they don't want to do nothing for you. Watch how they really don't like you. On some real shit, slow to show up. Everything is material based or outward. Everything. Wishing some of y'all get in a car accident. Still doing these fucking death spells, accident spells. I know that's what I'm going to do. Thank you, spirit. That's what I'm going to do. Don't worry about it, bitch. Some of them say y'all loose, y'all this, y'all that. They gonna blackmail you, blackmail you with what? You ain't even been nowhere. You don't even go nowhere. Some of y'all ain't had sex in years. What are they talking about? They're lying on you, trying to defame your character in front of somebody and trying to defame their character in front of you. 
Some of y'all is key to a situation because y'all making somebody self-aware of the shit that they doing. Y'all bear a light. Y'all shine a fucking flashlight in a dark room with a bunch of cobwebs, black ants, and black roaches. Or water bugs. Damn, this what I'm in? Like, uh, yeah. And now you're a threat. Like, no, I'm a light bearer, bitch. For real. They come after y'all children because they happy. They come after some of y'all children because they see they light as a small child and got to attacking them right away. I realized that one of my mother's siblings was fiercely envious of her. And I ain't saying which one. One of her siblings, I'm talking. I did not know on some doppelganger wanted to be like her, coveting her. Weird ass bitch. Weird ass bitch. And baby. When I say I stay sick as a child, this morning I got up. And I'm like, why the fuck do my, my stomach been feeling this way since I was this big? I mean, just shit befalling me, y'all. My whole childhood I was sick. For real, I ain't lying. And it was coming from this sibling she had that was envious as fuck. And I really just... She gave that to me in the bathroom. I'm like, oh my God. Like, I didn't even know. Be attacking y'all children. I'm trying to tell you. Attacking their little third eye. Attacking their stomach. Giving them unnatural diseases. It's nothing that came up on it. No, no. Your child just had bad luck with their health and shit like that. It's these hoes. And it could be somebody that you consider a sibling. I ain't lying. Should be having to be addressed. And then they wonder why you don't accept their propositions of wanting to kick it or hang out. Like, bitch, I will be by myself before I be dealing with this kind of shit when you coming in, moving in slow, half-hearted, half-ass, put me in this fluctuating, juggling, agitation bullshit. No, thank you. And quit fucking inviting me, bitch. Men too? Men to fuck with their own children just because they think they theirs. Like, they not, that's not yours, bitch. You're not even paying for it. I feel like they could get your child took from you because the child belongs to me. Bitch, you got five of them. You don't take care of none of them. What makes this one so special, weird-ass nigga? Because you want the mama. No, you don't. You want whatever bitch will be bothered with your ass. And somebody may have treated you better than the other five or four or six or how many, however many of these niggas got. So now you attack the child. Get the child kidnapped. Took, do all this all weird ass shit, man. This bitch in here in Ohio sold her fucking daughter to a nigga for a pair of Jordans. And her child was small like this. And he did have sex with the child. He come out and admit it. They went and arrested the nigga right away. But this is a bitch doing this shit. You don't think your baby daddy would sell your child off? You don't think your baby mama would sell your child off? And now you got to ask the question, whose child, what, what, what's mine and what ain't? Because these motherfuckers be steadily scheming and scamming and be having y'all locked in some bullshit, man. When I say locked in that shit, get out, movie, nigga. Get out, nigga. I'm telling you. This is what they live their life doing. Let me tell you something. With my candle science, the world is so fucking ugly. The only way that a person would not benefit is if they lived in a state of illusion, meaning the world that they live in, the timeline that they live on, everything is lovely as far as they're concerned. However, when you've come up in a certain climate and you've been in an apocalyptic climate your whole motherfucking life, you was born in an apocalyptic climate, baby, let me tell you something. Candles matter. Incense matters. Anything dealing with spirituality or divination. 
It is a tool for you to navigate through an apocalyptic climate that you've been in. Meaning, it may be days that you cannot go without incense. It ain't an attachment issue. It's a motherfucker essential issue. For real. Especially if you got any native blood or aborigine. It, honey, it's an essential issue. And they ain't never heard of you. My point is, that's the same way they get trapped. This is why you can't come off your beat. Because they can't. Once they get in this shit, on the dark side, they don't stop. Put rat poison in y'all food, I heard. Anything cheap and effective to throw you off. Use you like, like your body ain't shit. Like, man, shit. Quit accepting food from people, please. For real. For real. Stop accepting money from people that ain't no good. Because they don't do shit but cause your cash app to block up. Cause you to go on freeze mode. Or press your whole ass bank account because you accepted some money from them. Because their money ain't no good. Their energy transference is fucked up. And you got to wait in order for it to clear up. I ain't lying. You got to literally wash your fucking cash app with good energy. Save your page. Delete anybody you took money from that was a fucking devil. Because they'll cause your, a chain reaction where your money will start being blocked up all over again. Clear A clear indicator that all money ain't good money. Bitch, I would rather go hungry. I would rather go dumpster diving, honey, and get these carrots. I ain't lying. They come after some of y'all women, y'all wives, y'all children, what y'all love. They really do. I don't know what the justice system is going to do about it. Now, a lot of the motherfucking judges and magistrates and shit like that, they've been under spell work. They just don't talk about it. I don't know why. I seen it with my own two eyes. A magistrate that had my case, he, he couldn't even control his body parts. I ain't lying. They really want y'all to die in a car accident. Want you to flip your car. That's why uh, my ancestors locked my keys in my car. So I wouldn't go nowhere. Because they was trying to kill me. Injustices, disputes, accidents, misguidance, defeated, failure, dictator, petty matters, driven by ego, misuse of power, and free will, negative vibes. To me, the chariot is li uh, Libra energy. Because of the dark and light polarity. And because y'all dual nature sign. Mm -hmm. A Pisces could be trying to kill y'all motherfucking ass. A dark Virgo. What else came up, y'all? A dark Scorpio? Or a dark Cancer? For real. Dark Pisces, dark Virgo, or dark Cancer. <clears throat> Just can't get enough, honey. Just can't get enough of fucking you over and trying to unalive your ass. I'm trying to tell you, envious of y'all relationships with y'all children. Even if y'all are in some type of foster situation, the social worker, envious. Like, what? If you a mother, honey, don't feel bad. Don't make them make you feel like you ain't shit. Just because the fosters may have it better than you. What they got to do with you? They can't mind your business, didn't they? Oh, okay. They been fucking with some of y'all children, especially if they dark complected. Been fucking with they ass if they love they self and they didn't have no problem with their skin. Oh man. Whoo. When I say if they can't get to you, they get to your children. This self-worth candle is going crazy because a motherfucker know they self-worth. A motherfucker don't have to be wide in order to know they the hun sugar honey iced tea. That's the whole point of Auntie telling me to put her on this candle. Audrey Hepburn telling me to put her on this candle. Self-worth conjure. What the fuck does self-worth or self-value have to do with my skin complexion? You know how many white people suffer from not loving their white skin? It's no different than a nigga not accepting their dark skin. But when you accept yourself and you actually do love yourself, you not fake. You look in the mirror and be like, I'm cute as fuck. Damn, my skin look good. You're not acting. 
They attack you because you love yourself. Like, oh, what? <laughs> I can't even love myself now. Oh, that's crazy. And if they don't, if 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 you don't make no money, because you do, they, or they always fucking with me. You still execute and do what you need to do, but barely get a victory. Far fewer in between. Hard work, but seeming like your hard work ain't paying off. They trying to fuck with your self-worth. They trying to fuck with your self-worth like people don't fuck with you, blah, blah, blah. Honey, don't pay them people no never, man. They try to fuck with y'all like you ain't worthy to have a child because you ain't got no man. You ain't nothing. You a single mama. You ain't shit. It's like slave talk. It really is. It's like slave talk. Some shit they want you to buy that you ain't buying, man. I'm fucking with y'all. I'm telling y'all how y'all make y'all bread. You can have every fucking T crossed, every I dotted, ready to do business. I was ready to travel with Tarot. I was doing parties in my hometown. I was ready to travel from state to state. I was headed to Texas. I can't do that shit. I can't. It's too many fraudulent motherfuckers. And I'm going to do it how I've been planning on doing it. And it damn sure ain't going to be in a secluded, um, uh, like a pop-up. Like I could do it in a building or something like I had planned on. Having somebody look up, like, see where I can come there. Whether it's a hotel you know, or somewhere I can like put it in a, like in a room, like a party room. I'm not doing that shit. Cancel Christmas like a motherfucker. These motherfuckers can't, you can't, you can't, you just can't. For real, for real. I'm on some shit like this with Tarot. You hear me? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Also, I got a pop up for your ass. But the damn show ain't going to be in a party room, bitch. It's going to be on the go like a motherfucker. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Motherfuckers ain't shit, man. Walk off into the unknown. You better. You better doing that than keep it saying that this shit. And they making your money coming in slow because they don't want you to go. Because they feeding off your motherfucking energy. Making my crown chakra do something. Now I got to cut you, bitch. That's all. It ain't no issue. You kill my cat, I kill your dog. We can keep this going all day, bitch. But I bet you I'm gonna keep living my life while I'm killing your dog. For real, these hoes is wagged out of their mind. Ain't nothing what it seems, and ain't nobody who they seem. The only motherfuckers is who they seem is the ones that showed you who they really were, and you got to side out of them motherfuckers and keep an eye on them to make sure they ain't going to switch teams on your motherfucking ass. I'm talking about your own children. And if they switch sides, dump them off. It ain't hard. Because you're not going to talk to me motherfucking crazy, and I done did everything within my power to make sure you good. Some children paying for magic on their own parents, so-called. They made your motherfucking kids and Satan's children. Even if one of the parents is Satan, oh, well, say, say it even dirty to them motherfuckers. Wipe your eyes and keep it pushing and see what God got in store for you that's better than that shit. Love and light, Libra.